All right, so today we're going to be learning about um, animations. In particular, we're going to be talking about tweens. And no, I'm not talking about 12 and 11 year olds. I'm talking about tweens in Photoshop, and that is uh, combining basically one section of an animation with another. So, just to kind of give you an idea what I'm talking about, here is a circle, and it's on layer one. And if I go into my window workspace motion, I can create it. This is my first frame. You, if it asks you, you want to create a frame animation, you click on that. I'm going to make a new frame, and I'm going to put this guy over here. And you'll notice if I click on one and two, it goes like that. A tween will fill in the in-betweens, which is why it's called a tween. So let's say I wanted to have 10 frames. Now watch what happens. OK, so you get the basics of it. If you want to practice that, go ahead. But we're going to um, see today what we can do with that to make some really cool kind of complex animation. So I'm going to start with a uh, background. And I'm going to just draw in a blue sky and maybe like a road or something. I don't know. But don't take too much time on this. So there's my blue sky. And maybe I'm going to just use the rectangle selection tool here to fill in a, uh, I don't know, something green. Maybe. And then at the very bottom, I'm going to give it a little sidewalk right here. So I'm going to make that gray. And then at the very bottom, I'm going to go with uh, black for a road. So there it is. You got your nice setup there. OK, next, I'm going to create a character and this character is going to walk along this little path and if you want to use a stick figure you're welcome to um, so I'm just gonna draw a little dude there's his body there's his shoulder his arm is gonna go like this and he is gonna have circles for hands because I don't want to try to figure out how to draw them there's his back leg, and here is his front leg. Kind of looks like he's doing a weird dance move. Um, and there is his or her head. So that's my character. All right, very exciting. Um, I'm not going to take the time to fill it in or anything. You're just going to have to use your imagination. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this character again in the exact same spot. But this time, I'm going to draw, we're going to call it a her, her in this slightly different position. So <clears throat> her arm is going to be down. And her legs are going to be kind of switched. So we're going to have one leg like this and one back leg like that. All right. So walk animation. Very exciting. You can do better than that. But there it is. OK, so next I'm going to create, I want to get some things moving around here. So I'm going to create a tree. And I'm going to use brown, dark orange. For those of you who forget what brown is. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull this flow up. Maybe turn my smoothing down and just draw a quick little tree. I'm going to, oops, not on the sidewalk. On the, there we go. So quick little tree. A happy tree like Bob Ross maybe. I'm going to give it a green, nice green branches, vibrant green. And I'm doing this fast and dirty and you should probably... Today, just kind of have fun with it. Eventually, you're going to make some really nice animations. And I think this technique is really going to help you out. Because it's kind of something that I've been working on for a couple of years, figuring this out, stuff out. And this, to me, is a pretty cool um, way of doing it. In the background, I'm going to draw some hills. And my hills are going to be purple. Because why not? There's a hill. And there's a hill, there's a hill, and 
let's do one more. There we go. I might have to finish drawing that later, but that's okay. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, five, four layers plus the background. We're going to create our next frame. Then we're going to move everything. First, we're going to move the two walkers over here. We're going to move the tree over here. And we're going to move the hills just a little bit the opposite direction. Why are we moving it the opposite? Because we want to give the illusion that this character is walking to the right and the camera is kind of following her. Um, oops. So I'm just trying to finish that line. Okay. So now we have our first frame. We have our last frame. Let's put some tweens in between there. And let's go... You know what? I feel like the tree moved too far. The tree don't move quite that far. There we go. Let's go ahead and create our tweens now. And you know what? I'm going to move the hills a little less too. Just a smidge. Okay. So I'm going to create the tweens and we're going to say, let's say 24 frames to add. So we'll have 26 total. Why not? Let's try it. And my speed right now is set to like the fastest possible. I think it's like 0.1. Whoa, that's a little fast. Let me let me tone that down a bit. He's good. She is going to walk at a 0.1. Let's try that. That's good. Okay. Now it looks weird. You see two of them walking at the same time. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hold down shift, select the last one. It selects all of them. Turn off the top one. Now we're going to select every other. Oh, see, here's what you get next. You get that. Now we're going to select every other, and we're going to do that by holding down control and literally clicking on every even one. And we're going to turn off this animation and turn on this frame. Now, check this out. And you'll notice that the tree moving kind of gives the illusion that we're kind of going past it. And the hills move a little bit because they wouldn't move as much because they're in the background. And that gives you the, a kind of a feeling of three-dimensionality, um, of depth to this scene. And you could do all sorts of things. You could have a person on a bike. You could have, you know, a bird going by. But you have to set it all up at the beginning. And you only want to do your two frames. And then everything else is set for tweens. Um, you could have a bird flapping its wings. You could have a car driving by. But you have to kind of get it all set up what's going to happen at the beginning what's going to happen at the end which is what you're going to be doing when you storyboard your um, project you're going to show the beginning of each frame and the end of each frame and your job is to draw both of those and then let the tweens do the hard work okay so um, we're going to let the tweens do the hard work just like the industrial revolution is that do you get that joke? Sorry, it's not very funny. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you learned something. Today I want you to spend the rest of the period doing this, and take the last five or ten minutes to do your tweens. Spend the whole rest of the period building up a cool animation with neat scenes and a bunch of stuff that's going to move. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.